The recipes for this show and the complete series of great tastes are available on the greattastesmb.ca website. And one recipe from today's show will be in the classified section of the Winnipeg Free Press. Welcome back to Great Tastes of Manitoba. Eat well with more meals together as only we can with Ellen Pruden, Manitoba canola growers, and we're making sugar cookies. Woo -woo. So let's get started. Our dough number one. Number right? one. Start okay. with the sugar. We're adding in our canola oil. So half a cup of canola oil that we're going to put in. And I do use canola oil for all my baking. I don't know if that's right or wrong or otherwise, yes. but, but that's just kind of always been my go-to. You know, I'll give you three great reasons to use canola oil. One, it's Canadian. It's grown by our Canadian farmers and our Manitoba farmers in particular. It can take the heat, right? So it works well for baking or, or high heat. Yep. And then, of course, it has the health benefits all filled with omega-3 oils. Fantastic. Do you there really pour go. it from that? That's like tempting fate for the you know, As I said, I'm a professional. <laughs> you can do this by a stand mixer or you can mix it by hand or yep. those, you know, or, or things, right? Yeah. So blend that all together. Like any good cookie recipe, you're, talk you're starting off with your oil. Oil or your fat, and in particular, we're using canola. I bet and eggs then, are coming up next. <gasps> How did you know? We're going to well, do one at a time. Okay, and not just any egg, of course, but we have uh, uh, countryside uh, Vita eggs, the best, local, and local. Incorporate that in. Okay. Right? We're going to add in our vanilla as that gets blending. And then for our dry ingredients, we have flour, salt, and baking powder. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so that gets all combined in together. You're going to mix that all. It's going to form a beautiful dough, and it goes in your fridge for 30 minutes so it can set up. And look at this. It's so perfect. There it is. The magic of television. What do you want to cut with? Oh, I like this one. Okay, I don't know Jess. why. So, you know, as always start on the end, yes. right? Use your least amount of... There they come oh. off, goes on your cookie sheet. Isn't that beautiful? See, so yeah, sometimes they stick, but we've got just no. enough, you know, flour Just there. that little bit of flour. You don't want to work, overwork it, right? right. And just have that drizzle down of the flour. Oh, so then it just nice. comes off. And of course, key with cookies is the thickness of your dough. You yeah. Want it evenly thick. Isn't so what beautiful? is that about? That's like an eighth of an inch. I don't know. Have it be okay. even. You don't want them super thin. Like it's a yeah. great thickness there, right? Okay. Awesome. Goes in your oven, cooks for about 10 minutes. And then this is the fun part. So come on over. We're going to decorate together. So you could totally do this around the table with your friends. We've done this with kids. We've done it with adults for birthday parties. And I did found... Bit, like it's scary. Like not scary, but it could get a bit crazy, I think, right? Because you're is, right on the cookie. You release your inner creativeness out of it. So I found out my brother, who's in construction, runs his own business. He, like, is a great cookie decorator. I think you probably learned a lot about a person decorating cookies with them or just doing anything in the kitchen. So it, we're just kind of basically brushing it on. Brushing oh, it's see, a simple icing, right? Like we're talking icing sugar. So I was thinking that it would be really runny, but it's actually no. not. Like, it's a, what a great sort of consistency. And you have, this is for this glaze, the, you will find the recipe uh, on our website, of course, greattaste.mb.ca. It's there, and it's, it's very, very nice. Okay. Okay, so then the rules at our house is one, you have to decorate a cookie for somebody else and kind of their personality and oh, what they really? think. Yes. With, so, with sprinkles? How do you do yeah, that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> or, you know, there's always these like pre made, this is uh, pre made uh, icings, right? And then you can just, and they come in all different colors. Okay. So, Dad, I'm making you a heart. Okay. Well, and I'm making this one face. for you because you're a ball. Aww. See? Look at how See what I did my face is. You know, I'm not a professional <laughs> is baker. That me? <laughs> yeah, you're very special and smart. I think I'd rather have your brother make my cookie for I me. totally agree. <laughs> no, those are super, super cute. Um, and uh, so, and then do you kind of just, I guess, let them dry, and then that's just let basically them dry. it. Totally. And you know, the cookie dough, like you can make it in advance or uh, get your cookies to this stage, keep them in the freezer, and then you always have something going on. Like it's eight ingredients to make right. sugar cookies. So something you can easily make by hand or in your mixer, and then and again roll out and everybody can be part of the kitchen fun and have it be a party yeah super fun uh and and you know like holidays and things like that you can kind of have some fun with that as well and do it with the shapes for the holidays okay well now i just can't wait to see what aaron is going to do as far as a beverage pairing for sugar cookies and we are going to find out what he will do in just a couple of minutes when we come back on great tastes of manitoba you're watching great tastes of manitoba brought to you in part by the government of canada and Manitoba Agriculture through the Canadian Agricultural Partnership.